guys and welcome back to day five of Inktober. Today I wanted to create something that had some more objects in it and I think that's something that will give me a lot more variety going forward as I can start thinking about settings and things that I want to draw. I actually really love drawing lots of little items and details. That's one of my favorite things is lots of little details. So this was really actually very fun to work on. It took a lot of looking through references to try to find the correct things that I was looking for to make sure that this had the correct look from the anatomy of the figure and how she was sitting to the chair itself, which is a very unique style. I really wanted to find a very significant looking chair, one that had uh, this very overhanging look. I have seen chairs like this a lot in my research in the past, so I knew that I had a concept of what I wanted her chair to look like. And it took a little bit of time to find that chair and then it took some time to find a reference of a model sitting in the way that I wanted. And I also needed to make sure that the perspectives of both were working well together. And it was actually pretty fun to look through those and find them. And it was almost like a puzzle where I would find one reference that worked really great, except for I needed one more reference for say the pose on the foot because it was cut off or whatever the case may be. I actually really love being able to find that perfect reference that has exactly what I want and what I needed to see something in perspective or a pose for a certain foot. And it was really enjoyable just to look through it. It did end up taking probably the most amount of time as far as Inktober has gone. This was the one that I spent the most time looking through reference. But yeah, I think that it turned into something that I enjoyed and it was different than the other stuff because I was pushing myself into more uh, physical things that I could start putting into this piece. So so yeah, I liked it. I think that I'll definitely be looking for more things that I find interesting, whether it's architecture. I do actually have a lot of references that I've saved on Pinterest. If you're wondering, that's where I find most of my references. But I found a lot that are very architectural, specifically around like the Art Deco period. There's such interesting looking curves, even in architecture that I think works really well for the way that I like to design shapes and things. So I will definitely be doing more of those. I know that I want to do something that's in front of a stained glass type window. And I found a lot of really interesting references for that for really unique looking ones. Anyways, that's just a... Uh, that's just stuff that this piece really helped me to remember that I love designing and working with. So, so yeah, it, it helps me get more concepts for the future and more materials to work from when I'm feeling like I don't know what to draw for an Inktober. I can start thinking about more unique objects that I can combine that ultimately can hopefully tell a story. And I'll actually have a link in the description to my Pinterest so you can see the sort of photos that I am pinning. I actually have a system for how I like to organize everything as far as things that are inspiration because I I like having things divided by how their intent is. So I have one folder that I have all of the artistic things that I like. I like... Um, artwork that other artists have created, I put those all in one folder just so I can keep them separated. And I know that if I'm looking for a stylistic jump starter or something to really get my imagination going, I can go there. Uh, and then I have one that's labeled art reference. And that is something that I have anything that visually I would like to work off of. So I have a lot of figures in my art reference one but I also have two folders for male and female figure references that I use as well. And the reason that I have two separate ones for, even though I have a lot of figures in both, obviously, I, I like to put the ones in my art reference that are specifically for what they're wearing, what their styling is, what the coloring is happening in that particular photo. There's a lot of things that go into it, but overall it's the aesthetics that I like. And then the things that are purely based on figure and anatomy. And if I want that particular pose, that's where I put it into my figure drawing folders. And that actually just really helps when I'm 
when I'm trying to work through a piece and I'm needing some inspiration, I can know that I can go look in my art folder or I can go, actually I have them all saved in my likes for my artistic ones. Or if I'm looking for just a pose, I need something to start working off of for getting the anatomy correct, then I go to those other folders. So yeah, that's how I like to organize them. I know everyone has their own way of organizing and I think it's really fun to find out how different artists like to categorize things and how they like to work off of their references and their ideas and how they gather it because you can't make amazing art out of nothing and finding new ideas and new looks, new clothing is something that I really love to do. But but I've also found that it can be a little bit of a wormhole where I get stuck looking at so much reference and ideas that I get trapped so that I'm not creating my own anymore. And I think that's my my thing that I'm trying to pay attention to and make sure that I'm not letting myself get in that trap is that I need to be able to look at references and get ideas, get perspective correct, get things like that correct. But I don't want to get myself stuck in a loop of just looking over and over at different references without actually drawing or creating new things. So that is one of my priorities is making sure that I'm balancing out the two sides of the coin. Oh, and a small sidetrack from references. When I was designing this, I I did, I don't think I solved it by any means at all, actually. I think it still is unbalanced, but the composition, when I was drawing her out and figuring out how it would be placed on the page, I knew that the top of this chair would be hitting that corner. So that corner would be really heavy. And I knew that I wanted this chair to be a dark value. And because of that, I realized that I needed something in the lower left hand corner to be able to balance that out a little bit. So I ended up drawing a ribbon tied to her foot that's flowing off of the page, similarly to how the top of the chair is tilting off of the page as well. And I knew that that ribbon would also be painted relatively dark so that it would anchor it down in the composition will be anchored down in that lower corner. And I definitely think it helped overall. It, I think it's still too dark up in that upper corner. There's just too much weight there in that particular place that's not really supported elsewhere. So my definite critique and takeaway from this one is that the composition could have been figured out a little bit better and I could have figured out the values a little bit better to solve that before I actually dove in and done that because I think I could have done the lower end of the chair dark and then faded up into something lighter and I think that would have been a lot more successful but live and learn. I definitely learned from this one that I could have balanced the composition better and that is one thing that I always want to find ways to get better at. Composition is integral to creating a good piece. If you don't have good composition, it doesn't matter how many beautiful details you put on or how good the values are. Ultimately, if the composition is not working, the piece itself is not gonna work. So when I'm looking up references, I like to put in phrases that will bring up more things than just what I'm thinking of. So when I was looking up how to draw this chair. I was looking up antique chairs, throne chairs, as many synonyms as I could think of for that because I knew that I I would like to be able to see things that exist that I don't know they exist yet because there could be this perfect chair out there that I don't know what it's called. I've never seen anything like that, but it could be perfectly fitted for that. And it's really fun to be able to go into Pinterest and type in these phrases. And then when you click on a new image, it brings up similar ones below that. And I like kind of following those breadcrumbs that lead me into completely new and interesting ideas that I just wouldn't have thought of. I wouldn't have even known what kind of a phrase to look for in the first place. But because I was building up and looking at each image that started to intrigue me, it led me to all these new concepts and new ideas that bring all these all these new things for me to work off of. And I love that level of discovery because I think that there's, well, more than I think, I know there's just so much in the world that I don't know exists and I can't just know them. I have to discover them. And I would actually really like to get more reference books for that reason as well. Things that can give me new insight on things, or at least I should go to the library and get some of those books. But, but the discovery of new design elements is always really exciting for me. 
And that is it for today's Inktober. As usual, I do have all the materials listed in the description and I do have a link to my art shop. And that is a huge help, by the way, everyone who does support me through that shop. It means the world to me and it helps me create these pieces and these videos. So thank you for that. I will have the original available as well and stay tuned for the Kickstarter for the book. I know I keep mentioning that, but if you'd like to own a book that has all of my Inktobers compiled together, that will be coming out in about halfway through the month. So I will tell you guys about that later, but that is it for today. I'm posting daily Inktober videos. So stay tuned tomorrow. I will be back with another one. Thanks for watching.